Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy and today we're going to be planning out the month of January. I know that you guys love watching cash stuffing videos, but I think it's also important to plan out where your money's gonna go, what's coming in, what's going out. So after following this video, I will be doing a cash stuffing of the first week of January. Um, if you guys are new here, I do pay ourselves on a weekly basis for our business and so that's why we've been doing a lot of weekly cash stuffing but every single month i do sit down to plan out the month to see what's going to happen in a whole um, monthly view just like the month of december so usually what i do is just i just put in all of the bills that are coming out every single um, week and then I take it week by week because that's all my brain can handle. Um, but I also like to decorate the spread and I got these stickers off of Amazon. Um, this one actually came with the book. This is from The Budget Mom. Um, so I'll just use some of these and make the monthly spread look pretty because I think that that really helps with um, motivation and also to continue budgeting because that's super important, right? Especially when you're on like a long-term journey like me to pay off debt. And I just wanted to thank everyone who commented on my debt confession video for all of your kind word of encouragement. Um, it really does help a lot, especially when you're on this six figure plus um, debt to have people around you, to keep on motivating you, to continue. So thank you so much for all of your kind words. Um, so these stickers I got from Amazon. So I'll try to leave the link down below with everything that I have. So um, see this each month has its own sticker sheet and it just has um, like a theme to it. So I think that it's really cute and uh, who wouldn't like something cute, right? Okay, so this one I'm probably gonna put it somewhere here. So I've been budgeting for almost half a year now and I think that it does make a huge difference in terms of um, telling your money where to go and especially if you're trying to work toward a financial goal, having a budget and having a plan for your money is just so important. And so that's why I continue doing this. So let's see. President's Day is on. I actually don't know. Okay, I'm going to put this one aside for a little bit and then I'll come back to it. So I always refer back to the monthly spread because that's where I track my bills, my um, how much we plan to spend and how much we want to save for the month. So again, sometimes there's a four week paycheck and that's when we'll use, um, January actually has one, two, three, four, five Mondays. So we'll actually have five um, weekly check-in and cash stuffings because it's kind of like a magic week, <laughs> right? Okay. let me know what your uh, New Year's resolutions are. I know it's kind of like a catchphrase these days, like what are your goals and resolution? But I think having everything written down is super important um, in order for you to accomplish those goals. So, and also like telling other people what your goals are, I think really helps for it to manifest itself and become a reality for you too. So let me know what your goals are for the new year. I would love to encourage any one of you guys who are working toward a goal. Um, I want to be your cheerleader. So if you guys have a channel, um, you know, I don't have a huge following, but I would love to promote you guys. If you want to just leave it in the comments that you have a channel and you want to, and you want me to give you a shout out, I would love to do so. Um, anything that you think I can do to help, Please let me know I'm more than happy to because I think that we working together is a great way to build each other up 
and to be successful in everything that we do. So I hope that that makes sense. So let me know if you have a YouTube channel and you're trying to grow it and I'll do my best to help you out. So, all right, so what I do for a new month is I go back and I would look at, let's see, January 1st, I have rent coming out. So I would just put here rent, that's $1,500 and that's actually coming out twice a month. So the next time is the 15 for $1,500. And then the next thing is our son's um, preschool bill, 461.80. And that's gonna come out on the first as well. And then I do color code it. So anything that's pink will be for our family and anything that is in orange is the business. So for example here, MMI 12, it's actually 1250 is gonna come out on the second and that's colored orange because that is for the business. And then our next bill is gonna be my husband's gym members membership and that's $40. That's coming out on the third. Do you guys have a gym membership? Let me know because I usually just work out from home and I like to go on walks with my kids. And I think that's where I get most of the exercise. I also do a lot of yoga too. So that kind of keeps me um, active. So Lowe's, we actually paid off our Lowe's credit card last month, but I'm gonna continue stuffing this envelope because I want to do a debt snowball. And we actually have a payment, an extra payment now for PNC that is coming out, um, I believe it's on the 8th. So one of these, I have to add on to another payment on here. Okay, so for Lowe's and Amex, that's coming out on the 6th. And we are almost done with our Amex card as well. We have um, put in a, a big chunk of payment onto this card, this credit card, so that we can pay it down. But that's the minimum payment, and we do plan to pay more each month so that it can, so we can get rid of that debt quickly. So child care is actually on Mondays. So on Mondays, we actually have a lot of bills coming out that are regular. One of it being childcare. So that's 425 and I'm just gonna fill out 425 for all of them. I mean, all Mondays, cause that's how much we contribute for our childcare. That's what I, I pay my mom because she's the one who watches our kids and she's amazing. She just um, not only watches them, but she also cooks for us and we are just so grateful for her. Okay. So, now that we got all the Monday's bills out, I'm actually going to fill our Friday bills, which is AP Intego. And AP Intego is our uh, workers' comp, and we pay roughly $25 every single Fridays um, so that it covers our employees' workers' compensation. So we are small business owners and we have um, a few employees that still works for us um, that are considered employees and not independent contractors. So that's why we still have to put money into workers comp. Okay, so our next regular bill is Novo. So I talked about Novo a lot. And on Mondays, we contribute $250 into our Novo account, which is a separate check-in account for all of our subscriptions for the business. And for us, it's worth the investment to make our life a little bit easier. So this includes things like QuickBooks or, um, you know, subscription base that we need to help run the business. So that's everything. It's a virtual check-in account, so they don't have any physical um, appearance anywhere. It's just all online. So there's no fees, there's, it's a lot more affordable than the traditional bank account. So we like, we like it a lot. So that's how much we put in every single week 
to our subscription check-in account. Okay, so next we have payroll that comes out every two weeks. So um, on so last month, December, we actually paid out a little bit more payroll than we did in November because our business is growing. So we have more payroll. So you see here on the 13th, it was 6,000 and then on the 27th was 5,000. So I'm going to budget for payroll. Let's see, so the 27th we just paid. So now it's every two weeks. So we won't be paying out again until the 10th. So here payroll, will, I'm going to estimate going to be about let me just say 5500 which is the average of what we spent last month so then that one and then the 20 let's see the 24th will be another payroll and that's going to be another 5500 oh i don't know why i'm out of breath <laughs> okay so that is um two weeks for payroll so that should cover majority of our bills <laughs> it's crazy for any business that you, we, you want payroll to be higher because that means your business is growing right but it still sucks to see that number but anyway um so i think that's all the bills that is for the sixth and now the seventh we have betterment and our boa credit card so on the seventh we have so betterment is just our t-mobile bill and that's only $26, our phone bill. And then we have um, BOA credit card. This is for the business and we do plan to pay this off as well, <laughs> hopefully in, I don't know, maybe like less than a year or so because the, the interest fee is just crazy. Okay, and then our next bill is on the 8th, which is CHM. So I believe on, okay, so I'm just gonna put it, this is a Saturday, so it might not come out until Monday but uh, this bill actually went up this year. So now we're paying $615. It's, this is our medical bill for, if you're self-employed and you need health insurance, I really recommend CHM. They are a healthcare ministry and they really do um, provide everything through um, Christian Christianity. And it's just like a shared cost type of insurance. It's not the traditional insurance, but to me, I think it's really worth it um, so I would recommend if you are self-employed to look into that. Our Faith Direct is $50 and that's coming out on the, the 8th. And then our next bill is our Andrews Federal Credit Union. And we are not paying anything right now because we want to snowball the minimum payment into paying off another debt, another high interest debt, because we're actually ahead in terms of paying our car note. So we're not gonna take anything out. So our minimum payment is not doing until February. Okay, so our next bill is, looks like Geobit on the 12th, which is $9. Okay, and then our next bill is PenFed on the 13th. So PenFed is my other student loan. That's one, four, four, one. And then we have um, our water bill, which is month, uh, quarterly, but I still stuff that. It's that on the 13th because I want to have enough money for when it is due at the end of the quarter. And then we have um, Barclays. So we also paid off our Barclays credit card. So our minimum payment for Barclays used to be $53, but we paid it off, but we're still gonna stuff this envelope because I wanna snowball it into our next um, debt. All right, so payroll taxes, um, that was $200 on the 14th. So I'm just gonna add payroll taxes here. And I'm going to budget 200 for that. So we did rent already, um, power, our power bill is usually $100 and that comes out on the 17th. And last time we actually 
over budgeted so we had some money left in our envelope i budgeted 100 but we actually only spent 65 so we had like 35 dollars left in our envelope our apple cart is uh, is ten dollars and that's due on the 18th And then uh, we did check here. So State Farm is due on the 20th and that's $150. And that's our car insurance and our renter's insurance. And we actually have our, both of our windshield um, has a crack. So we have to put in a claim pretty soon, but our deductible is only $50. So thank goodness we have a, a low deductible. Ethos, Ethos is my um, life insurance and that's $29. So our next bill is gonna be um, our Amazon loan, which we're almost done paying off. So I don't think we're gonna have to work on that this month. Uh, our Target card was, I budgeted $62, but we actually spent $75 for the minimum payment last month. So that's coming out on the 22nd. I'm just gonna put it here because it's probably gonna be an earlier payment since the 22nd is on a Saturday. So I'm gonna budget 75 for Target. And then um, our gas bill was 111 last month. So um, that's a little bit higher than usual, um, but I'm still gonna budget 100 this time. So hopefully that went down, we'll see. Um, our Walmart, Walmart credit card is $33. And you know what? I think this is part of Novo, so I, okay, actually I'm, I lied. Uh, it's $33 minimum payment on the 23rd. I'm just gonna put it here, Walmart, 33. And then friends and family is due on the 23rd. Um, But we're gonna try to pay them early here and that's 1100 that's a personal family loan that we took out for the business okay so we're almost done here um what's left discover and delta on the 27th so discover is my other student loan and we're gonna try to snowball that one out discover and delta is 144 and Delta is our dentist, our dental insurance. And then upgrade is my husband's loan, which is on the 29th. But I'm gonna put it here on the 28th because 29th is a Saturday. Okay, so that is it. <laughs> we do have a, quite a bit. Um, usually we have one week that is pretty slow, like it's quiet. Um, it doesn't happen often, but we do have a week usually that um, usually it's, it's on a week that is not payroll related. So this whole week right here is pretty slow. We will save up all the money so that we have enough to take care of this week. And that's how normally we um, do our budget by paycheck. We would take whatever we get paid here and pay it for the next week. So again, we budget on a weekly basis. So that's why. Um, so now I'm gonna highlight our bills based on our family or the business bill. So anything that is in orange is for the business. So let's see, MMI, Novo, Amex, Pentago, all that's for the workers comp, Bank of America credit card, our Nope, so none of those. Novo again. So all the Novo is for, you guys see, is for our subscription, our monthly subscription. Um, payroll for sure is the business. Payroll taxes. I think everything else. Okay, Target is the business. Friends and family, Walmart. That's it, so everything else is gonna be for the family. So I have to separate it out like this, otherwise I get so confused. <laughs> um, and it just makes my brain a little bit um, 
comprehensible when it comes to paying bills every single week because I don't want to mix up business with family but since it's all coming out of the same paycheck I thought it would just be easier for us to put it all in one calendar excuse me so last month I want to increase our revenue by 2000 and uh, I'm sorry this is in November I wanted to get one week ahead and we actually did get one week ahead which was crazy never thought we can be able to do that so I think this month I'm going to give us a goal to get two weeks ahead let's see and I like to set goals kind of incremental like that so that it's more achievable no 10 no spend days I actually did not even track any of my no spend days but I know that we're still doing good because we have we're sticking to our budget so I'm actually not going to do that this time um track spending we've done that 500 subs on youtube i have surpassed that so i'm really proud and thank you so much for all of you guys who are watching my videos and subscribing it really does mean a lot to me so this month i'm going to set a goal of let's see at the end of january let's set a goal of 700 subs <clears throat> and another goal is to Increase revenue by 2k. Alright, so those are going to be my goals. Let me know what your goals are for this month. I would love to hear from you. And then next time, what I'm going to do is budget for our first week of January. And then we'll do the cash stuffing. This is really exciting because a lot of you guys love to see the cash stuffing side of things. And so... I'll show you how I break down all of my bills week by week. This is what I normally do. I would break it down and then whatever money we have left over, we normally roll it over um, the, the following week. Again, just so that we have enough money for the following week and all the bills that has to do with it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Um, I know that... It's kind of scary to look at everything, but I, I think it's really important that we do take a look at all the bills that we have so that we can manage it and tell it tell our money where to go. So for me, I kind of know exactly how much I'm paying every single month for my bills. And so that's why I think doing this is has been so tremendously helpful for me to pay down my debt and also to get one, two, you know, a month ahead one or two weeks has is my goal right now but eventually i want to get one month ahead so um i hope that you guys found this helpful and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i love to hear from you in the comments and with that i wish you all a happy new year and i'll see you in my next video bye guys